these gems in here. Let's see the gems in here. his relatives, Jesus' relatives, heard about it, they went and lay hold of him, for they were saying he has gone mad. These are Jesus' relatives. Okay. His mother and his brother. You see them? They're right there. They're all the relatives. Read that for yourself. That's what Jesus had to deny his own blood mother there. And I have to do the same now. <clears throat> what they've done to me. They've done to me here in Jamaica. And disgrace me. <clears throat> and say that I'm mad for my work. And set up a conspiracy. Set up a conspiracy to have me committed. Let me stop some of these things here. Looks like they have too much. All right, let me get back. Where are we? I want to talk about Syria because it seems my family has me set up that all my work here is some type of bullshit. Okay? They say I do crack and cocaine. Yeah, they say I do ganja. I don't hide the ganja, but now everyone's going for ganja to keep them off cancer and keep them off the pharmaceutical. But this is for many other reasons I smoke. I smoke for the highness. And the highness in the heights that his majesty shows me and tells me how to hold my highness. Because it's not easy to hold it in this world with these Baphomet people for my own mother and sister. They set up an abduction and a commitment to put me in a mental institution in Jamaica here using my son to attack me with a gang. It looks like possibly spike my urine sample which they failed at doing came up just with the ganja but it looked like they were trying to put coke or crack in it because they tried handling it twice there in between the in the bathroom and when it was returned to the nurse's station but putting that aside I cover that in other videos what I need now is to address my credibility and I'm going to do it on start to do it on issues of Syria and reinforce the heights of my code breaking and my truth seeking on the internet okay one of the reasons Obama's speech is so weak tonight was that it's untrue. He's not righteous here. Okay, he is not the righteous one. And they've been setting up false flag videos and incidents from Libya, Tunisia, Boston, all around the place. Many of these are false news events. And I have done original code breaking on it. I did all, all the Batman shooting at Aurora, which many people know to be an MK Ultra inc incident, don't know even the heights of the Nephilim hybrid that were involved and the appearance of the Nephilim the night before that shooting on Long Island, which I did code breaking on and no one else did. Sticking to Syria though, in the description box below, I've listed about four or five videos that I did on Syria. <coughs> Some doing acoustic forensic analysis, others doing video forensic analysis on the fake videos coming out of the Syria debacle. 
You know, several of these are over a year old. Several of them are over a year old doing code breaking and truth seeking on Syria and now you're talking about it. So know who you're talking to when you talk to Jam Zen and when you put Jam, try and put Jam Zen in an institution. Renee McCormick Maloof and Trisha Maloof, Trisha McCormick and the McCormick sisters and the Maloof sisters and the in-laws here in Jamaica. Know who you're talking to. I can stand before anyone and prove I'm most righteous and most high my work. Any doctor, anyone, any president. I'm a righteous man and my words are true. So down below I have video forensics on dead children that they say were murdered by Assad. And, it, it, and the, vi the video forensics prove great doubt about those claims. Audio, audio forensics on bombing and other sounds which prove the, the, which bring into question whether the secret military are on site there staging these things okay number to let us talk bring up to date with Obama's speech I want to raise two points on truth seeking number one the term no combat boots on the ground these are terms the government people use to manipulate you like we don't torture they just define torture a different way now when they say there's no combat boots on the ground that just means they're going to define what they're doing with their people differently okay they're going to use the free Syrian rebels or army or some other outfit as one avenue okay they're going to use black ops mercenaries which are more direct subcontractors as another avenue. And then they will use their own special ops in the US military which are defined in a different category out of active service regular combat militants like the SEAL teams. The SEAL teams themselves may be outside the definition of combat boots you understand. So no, that's number one how you're getting played with on these speeches. Number two the issue of chemical weapons. If you know, remember about two or three months ago, there was an incident of what someone called a chlorine gas bomb. Just some chlorine powder. You can mix it with Pepsi or Diet Pepsi, or you can mix it with diesel fuel or gunpowder. The UN investigated that and said it wasn't Assad. They said it was the rebels. So here we have an important point. Number one, there's an incident of chemical weapons which occurred here, which was confirmed by the UN investigators to be from the rebels. Number two, like combat boots on the ground, we have a definition here. What is a chemical? Is the depleted uranium the U.S. uses on the ammunition not a chemical that's causing all birth defects all over Afghan and Iraq now? What about the white phosphorus that Israel likes to use to burn up its victims in Palestine and Gaza and blind them as they come into a house? But more importantly, let's look at it this way, people. You have to go back to His Majesty's Code when he had to leave Ethiopia and go to Hotel Jerusalem and said, we need to preserve the Christian spirit so that men of goodwill can collaborate to find peace and world happiness. These are not men of goodwill. And you'll never find peace. Because if they take away all the chemical weapons, how are you going to clean your kitchen and your bathroom? Chlorine is a chemical weapon. You can burn your eyes or burn your throat. It's easy to make it into a gas or a bomb. Chlorine. The first incident they reported over there in, Sy in Syria was reported as chlorine. The second one is sarin. So wh what are you talking about people with all these Obama nation businesses? You don't realize that the Jews are supposed to pay the order of Melchizedek which is the Syrian and the Gaza people and the Palestinian? That Abraham got his blessing for his people from Melchizedek. So study your Bible. 
Study your audio sound. Study your video. But don't believe what they say from abomination. There's a liar. They're goddamn blasted liars. And they're warmongers. And they're not peacemakers. And they're not for the people. The government is not for the people. They charge the people for water. And make them use paper. But the people are for the government. On a higher level, I could tell you even why Obama put down the red line. But if you can't believe what I tell you here, I can't tell you about the higher level. So anyways, this is some of my establishment of my credibility as an original truth seeker and code breaker on the internet. And my work is going to be classified as high. And is classified high. And those who try to put me into a men's institution will be extradited from America and face charges here in Jamaica.